Hi guys, in this video, I want to get back to uh, Theodore Mommsen's uh, History of Rome, his uh, five volume masterpiece, and talk about, uh, you know, Mommsen's uh, view of the Greek states, um, you know, after Alexander. Okay, so um, as you probably know, there was uh, this great uh, conqueror, um, Alexander the Great, okay, Alexander the Macedonian. So he had this humongous territory um, from Greece all the way to uh, modern-day Pakistan. Um, however, after he died, his kingdom split into many little uh, I mean, not little, sometimes there were huge kingdoms, but, you know, there were quite a few. So essentially, each one of his generals got a chunk of Alexander's empire after Alexander's death because um, Alexander did not have a successor. So, you know, each one of his uh, generals, you know, Ptolemy, Antigonus, um, and a couple of other characters, you know, all of them, you know, felt like they deserve to inherit the empire and you know when several you know when there is one pie and everybody's hungry you know you know there will be a fight for this pie and that's what happened and um, this war between the successors of Alexander for um, uh, you know pieces of Alexander's empire was known as the war of the Diadochi okay so these Diadochi were the generals of Alexander. Uh, you know, Wikipedia, I guess, you know, has an article about it. Um, so anyways, um, you know, this uh, incident in Hellenistic history, you know, had a pretty, you know, good start. You know, like, uh, for instance, you know, Seleucus, you know, the Seleucid Empire was, you know, pretty much a great success, you know, like, uh, you know, it seemed, you know, like perhaps, you know, Greeks could have, you know, got their stuff together, you know, they could have held, you know, as unified empires and, you know, this way they would not, you know, get conquered by Rome. Not only that, but perhaps they could have been the ones to defeat Rome, you know, like for instance, uh, you know, Pyrrhus tried to do. Uh, you know, Pyrrhus, uh, I'm sure you heard of the saying, you know, the Pyrrhic victory. Um, I'll make a separate video on Pyrrhus, but... Um, so, the Diadochi, uh, you know, these uh, generals of Alexander, uh, you know, really, really, you know, they were fighting and fighting and fighting, and, you know, the Greek states got very, very exhausted, and essentially... Uh, Rome decided to intervene, okay, and, you know, moms and thinks that it's actually a good thing that, you know, Rome intervened and took over the Greek empire. Um, it was not an empire, but over the Greek states, okay. Um, and, uh, you know, moms and actually thinks it's a bad thing that it took them so long to do it, okay. The Romans should have been there earlier, they should have stepped it up you know, before, and, you know, they should have taken over it earlier. And, uh, you know, to some extent, he is perhaps correct, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, Greek states, their creativity, their life force was already gone, okay? At this point, um, Greeks were going from, you know, the culture stage to the civilization stage. And, um, you know, once you you know, start becoming a civil, well, Greeks were not a civilization themselves, but their cultural force exhausted, and there really was nothing left for them to do, but to uh, get conquered by um, a civilization, and that's how history works. Um, so, so, kind of like, um, you know, those weak Mesoamerican states got conquered by the Aztecs, okay, and moms and thinks uh, it's kind of a shame that it took the Romans so long to do it.